Well, hello, Capricorn, and welcome to your reading. This is going to be a general love message. We are going to see how this person is thinking and feeling about you, their next actions towards you, and possible outcome. So this is for Capricorn. We are going to jump right in. I hope you are doing well. If this message resonates with you, please like, share, and subscribe. If it doesn't resonate, please check out your moon, Venus, and rising signs, as this may not resonate with all Capricorns out there. Messages in love for Capricorn. How does this person feel about Capricorn? I see that they feel that you have many uh, things going for you. There's so many things that they love about you. Um, they love how you are creative. They love that you are beautiful. They love that you are uh, intelligent, driven, successful. There's so many things about you that drive them absolutely wild. They are a little bit um, cautious because they see you super focused and they don't know, they don't want to interrupt, like they don't want to come in the middle of what you have going on right now, some sort of a project or some sort of a, um, you have a lot of drive and you're, they can see that you've worked really hard and they don't want to be a distraction. They're wondering how they can help to balance you. They see you as very balanced yourself. They see you as, um, someone that makes them feel good. So this could be like good in the sense that they feel a calm. They don't feel nervous when they're around you. So this is someone that knows you already. This is someone that you might know. Um, and they feel that, they feel that they wanna help you. They, they wanna help you. They wanna add to your life. And they want to offer you something, but you don't see them. They want to offer you love. They want to offer you a gift to help you um, feel again. Because some of you have not really felt in your heart for a long time. Real, true, true open feelings with your heart. And they wish that you could see it. They wish that, they, that you could see them. And they could help restore balance in you, even more balance in your heart. Because karma, they see that you've worked hard. Like some of you maybe were in, um, you know, have gone through a heartbreak or a split or a divorce at some point in time. And you've worked yourself uh, up to like success or being able to support yourself, take care of yourself, take care of possibly your children. There's so many things that you can do, Capricorn. So many things that you can do. They are very attracted to that. So let's get a little bit more on what they're attracted to. Yeah, they want, they want to come in and they want to give you a love offer. They want to ask you to do something. They want to ask you out. Whoops. They want to offer you... They want to offer you something... Like ask you to do something fun, something lighthearted. They want to ask you to possibly something to do with comedy, possibly a show. They're not sure that you're over the past, so maybe they were aware that you were with someone else. But they definitely feel that they almost want to like save you. And I know you don't need saving Capricorn. It's not in a way of saving you. It's almost like saving you from yourself because you're so focused and driven. Yeah, you're so focused and driven. They want to work together with you to show you love. love. And with the world, they want to end that cycle of you feeling like you can't depend on anybody else. They want you to feel like they can, they can love you. You can feel real love. You'll open up and let them love you because they can work together and add to your life, build to your life on many levels. So what are the next actions this person is going to take towards Capricorn? What are their next actions? 
see a star. Queen of Wands. Well, they definitely, they're not going to be able to wait much longer because they see you kind of lighting up the world with the sun and the star. Yeah. So their next actions, this person's next actions, they are going to, um, they're going to approach you and it's going to be in a way that emanates your glow up that you've got going on. There's something you've been doing that's really brought your attraction factor, like you're putting out there such positive vibes. You're very attractive right now, Capricorn, and not just in a way of showing like your boss, boss babe mentality, but you're shining like a star. You're glowing like a star. This person has hope. So they're going to ask you to do something that's going to be very, um, you know, show you off, take you out somewhere. So that's going to make you feel very, very good. They want you to feel good, but they want, they, they want to wine and dine you. They want to take you out to do something special. They're going to give you this offer. You're going to be cautious about it. But they don't, they're serious with the Hierophant. So they see commitment with this. They see that this could go somewhere. They see you as commitment material. But they're first going to try to really, for some of you, they're coming in as a queen of wands. So they're coming in male or female. It's not gender specific. This person is coming in and maybe this is somebody that they are in the spotlight. Could even be famous, but even just in the, like what they do for a living, they might get a lot of attention. They're coming in hopeful that you'll give them a chance. But they're going to be very magnetic like you. But receptive at the same time, being with the queen. Let's get a little more on that for Capricorn. More on Queen of Wands. The sun, happiest card in the deck, right? Yeah, the magician. They are going to try to work their magic, meaning they are going to use all they got in their bag of tricks. They're going to have to appear intelligent. They're going to have to appear caring, uh, passionate, have a direction, smart, going somewhere. Yeah, they're coming in fast. So expect communications from this person within the next week or two. Expect to get, let's get something on the communication. How are they going to communicate? What are they going to do? Okay, they're going to come in with a direct Knight of Wands. I'm seeing like showing up with flowers, um, not taking, won't take no for an answer. But they do have serious intentions. It's not just in and out. So with the Knight of Wands, that's a very in and out energy. But I feel like they need to impress you because they know you have so many things about you that are super amazing and attractive, Capricorn. You're smart. You're in control. You're beautiful. With the Queen of Wands, the sun, beautiful. You just don't see them. So they have to make themselves known. They have to do, they almost have to do a glow up to get your attention because you're not seeing them or you're not seeing them as someone that would be interested or even you're, you've got blinders on from love. You're so hyper-focused on work. But you can have both Capricorn. So on the Hierophant, I feel the, the commitment, they've been thinking about it. Hermit, Earth, Virgo, energy, over analysis, analysis, analysis. They've been thinking long and hard about you. You've, they've known about you for a while. I don't know if they've seen you on social media. They just know you from somewhere, you know, somewhere at work, somewhere they've seen you at a coffee shop. Maybe they're in a, in a group, a club with you. Yeah, the moon. They've been hiding. So this is going to be brought to light, though. It's going to come clear who this person is. And they're going to approach you. For sure, they're going to approach you. So let's see a little bit more about what their intentions are. What are their intentions for Capricorn? What are their intentions for Capricorn? Thank you so much, Spirit. Intentions for Capricorn? Capricorn? 
Their intentions are to love you. They want you to feel again. They want you to feel again with your heart, Capricorn. Their intentions are for you to choose them or even consider them with everything you have on your plate. They want you to take a chance. Take a chance on them. They want you to feel. They want to show you love. You can open your heart and share it with you. They want to go places with you. They don't want to hold you back. This person does not want to hold you back. They want to enhance your life. Potential outcome. Potential outcome. The next few weeks for love, Capricorn. Potential outcome. Now, this person is a king. This person is very, very mature and able to uh, show their emotions, explain their emotion, communicate their emotions. They want to bring that out of you because they know, even though you're an earth energy and you're so focused, that this has been hiding inside of you. You just stay busy and you avoid this. But it's safe to feel with this person, and they're going to prove that to you, not just talk about it. They're going to prove it. But in order to get your attention, they really need to show you some fun, impress you with their mind and their heart, and not in a flowery, fake way, in a really mature way that's not like, oh, you're so beautiful, let's be together and get married and run away together in a day. No. Really showing value to your commitment, to your life, everything you've done, celebrating everything you've done because they see it. They're proud of you. They're inspired by you. They see your resilience. They can learn from you. And you can learn from them. They see that you are following your true calling. And they feel that they are meant to be with you. They are meant to be with you. So they are going to communicate. They might be someone that travels. They might enjoy water. There's a lot of water energy here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Doesn't mean that, it's, that that's their sign, but it could be. There's a lot of fire energy. Leo, um, Sagittarius, Aries. There's not a lot of pentacle energy. I'm not seeing a lot of earth sign here. Not a lot of air, not a lot of swords. So how will Capricorn recognize this person? How will they know who this person is? How will Capricorn, Capricorn, whoo, maybe they're, maybe they have a speech impediment, tongue tied, maybe they stutter. <laughs> how will Cap, might be, Ends of Mercury retrograde here. How will Capricorn recognize you work with this person? Or this person is easy to work with. They could be a friend, someone you've done a project with, someone you've created something with, something you can talk to about creating something. Hmm. Knight of Wands again. So they could be a little bit of a charmer. This person could have a really nice smile. This person is someone you've known, but you have not been able to see them. You have not been able to see them. For some reason, you have the blinders on. But you're going to be taking them off because they're going to glow into your, uh, with this fire energy, you know, tapping this drum, they're going to make themselves known. So there will be no way that you can ignore this. Okay? Because they don't want to lose out. They don't want to miss out on you, Capricorn, at least to get a chance, at least to get, get some time with you. Yeah. They don't want to be left out in the cold. So this person may come across, like, at, until now, is very reserved. 
Or maybe they were involved with someone. They couldn't see a way out. Now they're free. So it could be someone recently separated, recently divorced, split from someone else. And their mind is ready to move on. Maybe, maybe they've split a while ago, but they're actually aggrieved and are ready to move on. And coming in with this fiery, loving energy. Like when your heart is healed, when your heart is healed with the King of Cups and the Knight of Wands, you can your charm comes back. Right? You're able to love. You're able to put love out there. And I don't know that your heart is healed, Capricorn. So this person is on a healing journey as well. And they will be able to help heal your heart and open your heart. I'm seeing dark hair. I'm seeing uh, blue eyes, light eyes. Possibly some facial hair, but not too much. This person likes music. So what do we have for advice for Capricorn? Let's get some advice, Spirit. Thank you so much. Advice for Capricorn. Advice in love. Oh, Ace of Pentacles. Give it a chance. This is something that the spirit spirit is giving you that can grow. And it's not something that's just going to be in and out. Ace of Pentacles means stability. Growing something stable and real. Advice. Advice for Capricorn. Huh. Page of Pentacles. Yeah. This is a new start. This is someone coming in wanting to plant a seed with you and offer you something to get started. This possibly, they possibly could have a resource that's very appealing to you in the material world. So when the long and the short of it is, you you know, as a Capricorn, you will be attracted to that. You're not just attracted to Casanova's coming in. So you need a little bit of that, though. You need a little bit of that. I, I feel because sometimes I've got Earth Capricorn in my chart as well, and we can get so grounded that we just hyper focused and we stay up, stay away from emotional things. So let's get a Moonology card for Capricorn. Moonology for Capricorn, and we have meditate and contemplate. New Moon in Pisces. So this is about really taking time for you. Meditation, mindfulness, soul relaxation, possibly working with crystals, possibly working with Reiki, um, maybe smelling some sage incense, cleaning, cleansing your space, thinking things out, really letting your mind relax. Take a little bit more time for yourself and contemplate how you feel about things before you make a decision just based on your mind. So let's get some hidden messages. What is this person hiding? What do they want to say? What do they want to say to Capricorn? What do they want to say? Hmm, quite a few. Five messages. Wow. So we have, it is time for me to heal now. So we just talked about that. They have healed. It's time for you to heal now. So it's time for me to heal now is to help you heal. I hid behind material things. As I said, I really don't think, I, I feel like you don't know who this is. You didn't even see them. Okay, so maybe this is someone that has a lot of money, wealth, great career, and you just didn't look at them in that way or think they would be interested. My life is not as together as it seems. Okay, so possibly this person is someone that hid from you or if, you know, you didn't know that they split from someone or there's some mystery there in general. I know I was a distraction from your pain. So maybe you've expressed some feelings to this person, but it was more in a, maybe this is someone that, You almost like, I want to say, not used, but like it wasn't in a really dating way or a love way. It was like 
maybe they were a counselor, maybe they were um, like something you, a yoga, or you went to a bar and had a couple of drinks. You know, I'm not I'm not condoning substance abuse when it comes to your sadness or working through things. But sometimes people will go out have a drink. This is someone that you did exercise or worked out something to distract you from your pain. But they want you. They want you. You never saw them in this light, but you might want to start Capricorn because they've seen you. They see all of your beautiful things that you do, who you are in your beautiful heart. Let's get a mini tarot. Yeah, look at what we have. Four of Cups. So you're not feeling fulfilled right now in your heart. And they want to hand you this cup. You just keep thinking and looking at the old cups and how things in the past worked out. And you're just got blinders on like you're not interested. You're not interested in dating. You're not interested in anyone, bringing anyone in. But Spirit is advising you to look up. Look up. It's a time to heal. Well, I hope you enjoyed this reading, Capricorn. Love and light. I'll see you on the next one.